Hey guys, DJ Urbanovsky with American Kami Custom Blades out of Omaha, Nebraska, and here today to talk with you about the little shit, aka the Dr. Jones Bag Project. Uh, we're about to get rolling on these things right now. Uh, thrust of this video today is just to go over uh, all of the details with the final production sample, and then uh, we'll go over how you can reserve one of these for yourself and our potential timeline and further information at the end of this video. So let's get down to brass tacks. Uh, the kit is going to consist of the main body of the bag with flap, the flap is removable. Uh, since we're holding the flap, we'll go over this. It's got a map pocket. It has Velcro. All three of these sides where it attaches to the bag. Here's our map pocket. It's got Velcro clip right here. And then it's got male and female Velcro. Uh, both our hook and our loop that's going to allow it to attach to the bag. It's got a drag handle on top. It's got a rubberized pull tab on the bottom right here. And basically what you've seen uh, that I've done is you can get on the aftermarket uh, the opposing hook or loop. In this case this is loop. Uh, you can stick it on here and cover up uh, as much of this velcro hook as you want to so that you can basically adjust how much this grabs on the front of the bag for security purposes. So uh, that's our flap. Uh, we'll go over the body of the bag right now. Uh, 1000D Cordura nylon uh, is coated on the inside. Uh, it's got type 7 resin impregnated parachute riggers webbing. As you can see it wraps all the way around both sides and the bottom of the bag. You have two soft points on each side of the bag, two more on the bottom, and then of course uh, our strap attaches with these Austrialpin Cobra buckles. Uh, front of the bag, fully uh, Velcro loop right here. You have two compartments. Uh, the front and the rear of the bag both have Velcro closure. Both are fully lined with uh, Velcro loop. See right there, and this incidentally is how the flap attaches with opposing Velcro here. We just take it and kind of get it tucked in like that. That's a sloppy job. There. Just like that. And then to get the flap out. Tears right off. Uh, inside each of these compartments on the front and the rear, top loading with Velcro closure, uh, you've got two drag handles. They fold down so you can run the bag topless if you want. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the bag is going to come with this zipper top. Let's see here, this will basically takes a little bit of work. This guy is going to Velcro in here. We're doing this quick and dirty. And then it's got two ears sides that'll fold down. It's difficult to see this, but let's see. It's kind of like this. Oh, that top goes into the bag. Now it's sloppy right now because I rushed it. You can make it nice and neat. But you can see it's pretty easy to get that thing in. And then it's got a zipper top right there. So the top is actually convertible. You put that zipper top in there like that. You've got your drag handles right there and plenty of access to the inside compartment right there. And you still maintain access to our pockets. Like I said, that load on the front and the rear of the bag like that. So again, this thing comes out. It's real easy. Hold those ears down. Pull this guy off. And 
and we'll just fold this up like so. And there's our removable top. So we got over that. We got our strap right here. It's going to attach with our Austria Alpen buckles as such, our male and our female. Same thing with the strap and the strap pad as uh, shown in the previous videos as far as how this thing slides, all the amenities, everything like that. We've already covered that ground. If you'd like further information on that, uh, you can go ahead and scroll down, check out those videos. Uh, same thing with any of the details on this bag. Again, here's our flap, gone over that. Uh, we'll go over our divider right here. Uh, this thing tears out. We've got four soft points on the bottom, uh, two on each side, on each of the corners here. So you can go ahead and mount dummy cords to these things. Uh, fully Velcro line, front and back. Got these ears. So once you slide this thing down into the bag, like so, uh, it's got an ear on each side, one here, one here, one on the bottom, so it's going to attach to all of those corners of the bag. And stay put, you can use this to segregate a laptop, a netbook, an iPad, any tablet, Android device that will fit inside of the bag. And uh, armor plate, uh, scary gear and whatnot, you know, anything you want to stick in that bag. Got two offset pull tabs on the top, they are rubberized and loops so that they stay open. Attach dummy cords to these, pull them open. We've got a compartment on the inside of this guy. It is fully Velcro lined as well. So you can stick things in there. Uh, it's going to come with the MBS holster right here. Again, further details on that. Scroll down for previous videos. It is going to come with 10 single sided Molly rip strips, five double sided. Uh, again, cover everything in the previous videos that we can do with these guys. Uh, very robust and modular system. And now we're going to go over the interior of the actual bag itself. Like I said, there's two compartments, or are two compartments, uh, front and back of each bag, Velcro closure on the top. Uh, on the inside of these compartments, it's difficult to see, but uh, we've got uh, two D rings mounted to the top of each of these compartments, front and back. Again, these handles fold back down. So we have our two D-rings at the top, uh, each mounted to a piece of webbing. And then in the bottom, you won't be able to see this, but there are two soft points uh, for dummy cord loops mounted in the bottom two corners of each of these pockets, the front one and our rear one right here. That's a nice amenity to have. Uh, they are fully Velcro aligned, like I said, front of the bag, fully Velcro aligned. Uh, interior main compartment, fully Velcro aligned, front, back, both sides and the bottom. Uh, in addition to that, we have four of these D-rings in the main compartment right here, one in each of the top four corners. And then in the bottom, we have these soft points again. There are four loops in the bottom here. Now, there aren't any secret compartments on the inside of this bag. Uh, we didn't want to get too crazy, too much crazier than we already have with this bag. And then uh, uh, at everybody's request, we added our concealed carry pass-through compartment on the back of this bag. This will accommodate a full-size combat pistol. Uh, it has two dummy cord loops, one in each of the two bottom corners right here, total of two loops. And then this is also fully Velcro lined uh, on the bag wall, basically. Sealed with magnets so that it is silent. And it has these little fold-out tabs right here. Make it easy to grab and, and open that sucker up if you want it to, to be as unobtrusive as possible. This seam melts in with the side seam of the bag. Tuck that loop right in. But still very easy to get into the bag even without those, those uh, pull tabs sticking out. Uh, dimensions on this bag are 12 high by 12 wide by uh, 5 deep. And uh, that's basically the bag right there. We don't have final pricing yet. Uh, I'm currently waiting to hear back from the vendor on that. This bag goes back uh, today, overnight to them. I expect to have final pricing here in the next two weeks. Uh, ballpark, I would say, is going to be somewhere between three and six. We don't have final pricing yet, though, as I mentioned. Uh, so bear with me on that. If you're interested uh, in getting on the reservation list for these bags, please send me an email at info at American 
Kami, K A M as in Mike, I as in India.com, www.americankami.com, and I will get you added to the reservation list, answer any questions that you might have about these bags, and, and address any issues that you might have. So that basically sums it up. Like I said, if you'd like further details about these bags, you can either drop me a line. Uh, at the website or via email or on Facebook. Links to Facebook uh, are on the website or uh, you can go ahead and watch the previous videos where we go over a lot of the details, nuts and bolts and things that you can do with these bags. So uh, pretty excited about these guys. Uh, really appreciate you being patient. Uh, vendor has really knocked it out of the park with these. I'm very impressed with the quality level and the finish on these bags. I think you guys will be too. So thanks for bearing with me. Again, my name is DJ Urbanovsky, American Kami Custom Blades, Omaha, Nebraska. Thanks for your support, guys. More soon. Stay safe.